Live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. Right now I'm in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I play one of the divas in that show, and we are the voices for the three printies. Um, drag queens tend to lip sync to females' voices, and we fly down, uh, hang 30 feet in the air, 30 to 40 feet in the air, fly in and lend our voices to them. We always say we're ethereal creatures. I love the nightlife. I got some boogie. I'm going to do a little bit of a few of the songs from Priscilla, a little medley. Um, I'm also doing an R&B classic, um, Try a Little Tenderness by Otis Redding. I kind of have a soulful R&B voice, um, and so I think they'll hopefully tap their foot to the song because a lot of them are up-tempo and have a good time and dance a little bit. I grew up in Canada, so uh, Broadway was a far away dream. And um, I went to school in New Mexico um, and then spent a lot of time in LA um, doing theater. And one director that uh, hired me over and over is Jeff Calhoun, who directed Bonnie and Clyde. We did Big River together, which was uh, nominated for the Tony in 2003, and um, Pippin in LA. And so he called me up and asked me to, uh, to come back to Broadway with Bonnie and Clyde. I'm always walking. We'll be hearing um, Now That's What You Call a Dream, um, which I sang in the second act of Bonnie and Clyde. And we'll also be hearing um, You Ought to Be Here With Me from Big River. And I'll be signing that as well because the production was a half deaf, half hearing cast. So we signed and spoke everything that we did. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and Broadway was not a huge part of the culture that I grew up in, but I just watched great performances and stuff, and I just started dancing in my garage. <laughs> and I actually am a self-taught uh, actor, singer-dancer. It's an escape from reality. For me, I'm able to become the character and live that character's life for the two hours that, you know, that character exists and I can get away from, you know, myself. So I, I'm a character actor and I really enjoy that. My father played guitar and I grew up singing along with him and uh, my mom played piano and I sang with her and I got involved at a pretty young age actually. What a day this has been, what a railroad I'm in, why it's almost like being in love. The two things that I've done most recently on Broadway uh, was West Side Story, uh, which was an amazing, mind-blowing experience because we got to be directed by Arthur Lawrence, who wrote the book, and uh, to be in the presence of, you know, legends like Bernstein's music and Robin's choreography. It was a roller coaster of wonderful emotions and such a huge story and a massive piece of musical theater. So to be a part of something that iconic was truly, truly an honor and uh, life-changing. It's the most Beautiful song I ever
spent many years in London working there, doing various things from um, songwriting to record deals. I worked in the West End. I did some shows there. I got to go to Australia and did Sunset Boulevard. There is, I did that in London as well. I did it in Australia with Hugh Jackman. And so I've had a varied experience. And um, when I uh, met my husband, he took me back to New York. And so I started late. Um, with my foray into Broadway, and that happened uh, just last year. I generally do songs that I had a lot of experience with, like I've been up for Mamma Mia many times, so I'll be singing a song from that. And maybe next time you hear me sing it, I'll be doing it on Broadway. We'll see. Wasn't it good? Wasn't he fine? Isn't it madness? He can be mine. But in the end, he needs a little bit more than me. More